In this movie, we will show you how to load the CAD course interface configuration so that your screen layout can match those found in our training movies. We think you will agree that the interface layout is both easy to learn and productive to use. The CAD course interface has kept a similar look and feel between the re most recent versions of TurboCAD. So you can use just about any version of TurboCAD with our training material and still benefit. Even though there may be slight differences from version to version, there is a good chance that the concepts discussed will be similar enough to be meaningful. Step 1. No matter which version of TurboCAD you are using, the basic method of loading the interface is the same, and that is, you need to open TurboCAD, Start a new drawing, open the Tools menu, and choose the Customize dialog. You will then need to click from the Load From drop-down list, and find the CAD course configuration. Depending on which version of TurboCAD you are using, the CAD course interface may or may not appear in this list. We will discuss each variation of the installation procedure for each particular version of TurboCAD in detail later. For now, we will just use TurboCAD Professional version 14 to illustrate the basic concept. Select it from the list, and then be sure to click the Load From button to force the program to load the interface. Then you can close out of the customized dialog and check to see if the tabbed interface has been loaded. By examining the interface, you will see that we have tried to group similar tools into the same tabs. For example, all the line tools are grouped in the line tab. Likewise, for arcs, circles, text, etc. Across the left of the screen, we have grouped different selection and snap tools. On the right of the screen, we have a host of palettes that are used for a wide range of tasks, such as drag and drop symbols and selection information. New to versions 12 and 14 are the Tools palette, which we have designed to mimic the tabs across the top of the screen. You will notice that the Tool drop-down selection very closely matches the names of the tabs across the screen. As you select a different drop-down, a different set of tools appears for your convenience. Palettes can also be dragged and docked on different sides of the screen by dragging the name tags onto the different drop spot locations specified as you drag over that specific area. This way, you can have two tabs open at once. For people with more restricted screen space, there is an auto-hide option to have the Tools palette roll away once the tool has been selected and used. Palettes can also be docked on top of each other by dragging the title bar onto the hotspot that appears over the different areas. If you have a widescreen or dual monitor display, you may want to try dragging sets of palettes onto the right-hand screen freeing up drawing area on the left. If you are using an earlier version of TurboCAD, it is possible that the CAD course configuration was not included in the shipping program, and you will need to copy the configuration files into the correct location on your hard drive. In this case, you will need to ensure that the files CAD course v14.xcfg and CAD course v14 .xml are both copied into the My Documents TurboCAD v14 config folder on your hard drive. Only once both of those files are in that config folder will the CAD course v14 interface appear in that drop-down list. Once it does, you can proceed as in step 1 described above. 